All right, folks, got a couple of things we're going to try out today. We're going we're gonna to turn this new mobile G3 into a wireless charging phone. Got a wireless charger over here. So uh, let me get this axe on out of the way. It's in my way. <laughs> Wait a minute. Damn it! What kind of magic is this? Merlin! Get it, Merlin! You will let put the wand down. Be right back, uh, and we'll do the intro in the meantime. Hi, folks. In here from High End Cheap Tech, and of course, welcome to yesterday. It's currently Saturday. The video section you saw at the intro, the little shock and awe thing with the ZTE, uh, was filmed today, even though it was filmed after what you're about to see. Rawr, coming up, a couple of segments. And we're going to show you a couple of phones that uh, we put wireless charging on. Well, hopefully we'll be successful. I don't know. It's going to happen tomorrow. How the hell would I know? I'm just trying to run the battery down. But first we're going to try it on the new mobile G3. And then the Alcatel 7. I'm going to try the super thin case here. It's still pretty thick. I may have trouble on this one. may have to go out and order a thin TPU case to use it with these particular products. So, <clears throat> let's get to that right now. What do you say? Unbox time. All right, folks, good morning. Uh, got a couple of things to unbox today. This thing here, the Cineo Best Wireless Charger Stand. And we'll get to that first. Uh, and then the other one from No can here. It's a wireless receiver tag. Huh. So we're gonna check that out also. Obviously that's why we're getting the wireless charger. So let's start unboxing. Let's do it. Uh, what do we got? Got ourselves a cable here. Hmm. It's a micro USB port and uh, looks to be long enough for my needs. <laughs> and a whole important user manual. Basically, it says plug it in and to your adapter. It does not come with an adapter, but that's okay. And it tells you what not to do, like if you have metal, anything, blah blah blah. <laughs> and uh, reading some of the instructions please keep the charger away from we have water in other places no kidding okay all right I've read all the instructions I swear to God not really but let's get her out of there let's see what we got and pretty well packaged here nothing spectacular of course but good enough. 
gonna go ahead and pull off the bubble wrap and the loser box. There it is. Ooh. And there's some sticky ass rubber feet. That thing ain't gonna slide nowhere. Now, we're gonna get it plugged in. And then uh, we'll be right back. All right, kids, here we go. I've already uh, shut this uh, new mobile down. We're going to take it out of the... Uh... Whoa! Nothing like dropping it on its face without a case on it. Brilliant! All right, so what we're going to do here, we're going to plug our Nilkin into the bottom here, into the USB-C port. Let's see if we can get it to... Glooperate. There we go. Now we're in there. Ooh, this will be kind of a interfering fit there with the uh wow. Really interfering fit with the uh what do you call it? Fingerprint reader up there, but let's see if we can just get her in there. Look at that! She went right in. Mm. Yeah. I don't like how it's pushed up there, but I imagine I can still use that fingerprint reader. Eh. You know what? We're gonna cheat a little on the on this guy. Just for the sake of cheating. We're not gonna use that sticky tape thing. But we got something just as good. A little tiny piece of electrical tape. Should do the trick. So I'll be right back. All right, folks, I got it back in there, and it's not interfering with the fingerprint reader now. And I got it pressed in pretty good. And a little bit of the cable sticking out the bottom because, well, this thing is, frankly, a little too long for this little phone, but it's okay. Let's check it out. and see what happens when we set it over on the charger. Uh oh. What? Look at that. Yeah, we're wireless charging, folks. And that's on a new G3. So you really don't need to wait around for the G4. Life is good. Anyways, just hit that, check it. Way to go! Way to go! Now, of course, we're gonna do videos using it. We're gonna have to take the back cover off and pull the little thing out. Uh, that's alright. When, when you get home, you put this thing in it, and you're good to go! Just the very smallest amount of electric. Was enough to hold it so I could get it in here. Case fits good enough. Everything is okay. You wouldn't really know there's something in there. You could walk around with this thing forever. Walk up to any old wireless charger and go, oh yeah, I got wireless charging. Like, really? What do you think? Yeah, what? I got wireless charging on a mobile G3. All right. That's that. Let's. Hey, okay, folks. We're back. And uh, we're now putting this in the 
Alcatel, this little uh, magic tag, as they call it. So, we're going to just stick around in here. Now, remember, the cool thing is, let's say you had a, whoa, I don't know, one of them OnePlus 7 Pros. You just want to be able to wireless charge it. Well, all you'd have to do is turn that crap off the back, slip this puppy in where it belongs, and put your TPU case on it. Now, remember, this is a bit thicker TPU case. And, yeah, we're talking probably about four millimeters, so we have no idea if this will end up working, yay or nay. But I'm going to try it. Anywho, so we're going to get that case, hardcover shell, snap back in place. It looks really good down in there. Okay. All right. So, moment of truth here. We're going to set it over on the charger. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's charging. So, so. Right there. Charging. Works like a champ, folks. So, three phones all work perfect. So, if you found this little unbox and uh, test entertaining or, or boring or whatever, leave a comment in the description below. And, uh, I don't know why I just did that. There's going to be something that pops up. Uh, but it's okay. Uh, make sure you share this with everyone you know. And we will see you in the next one. All right, now I'm out of here. All right, one last uh, word from me. I didn't really want to stick this in here. But... And after reinstalling it, that, you know, little tag into the uh, new mobile, it just absolutely went bonkers. I mean, I got the cover on it, you know, the case. I think it's a little too small of a case, or... The phone's too short, and if you're willing to give up the fingerprint reader and go over to Face Unlock, it'll work for you. But if you have a 5.7 inch phone, this tag is a little too long. Now, you might look around on Amazon and find a shorter one that won't interfere. Uh, if you turn the phone off, it's fine. Other, but if you have the phone on and you put it up in the charger, guess what happens? Apps just start opening on their own. Crap moves around. It's like, uh, what the hell's going on here? So, that's all I got. I, I needed to tell folks that. So hang, hang on if you want to get a, a new mobile for the G4. We may never see it, though. By the way, I stuck the tag and stuff in my Alcatel. Uh, might even move the SIM card to it. Who knows? But you need about a 6-inch phone for it to work. And that gives you the play on the fingerprint reader. Otherwise, this thing is laying over half the fingerprint reader. ain't going to hack the program. So, uh... Remember, subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and uh, hit the little ding. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.